Good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist David Jones with another YouTube heads up, this time on the end of summer and the drought plaguing several areas of BC. Here's our uh, current weather map, the upper air pattern that forecasters look at, the familiar ridge of high pressure sitting off the west coast and a low pressure system off the California coastline. This block has been persistent for a week and it's helped to steer the storms well away from BC, that storm track dipping down over the prairies. And that's more or less been the pattern for about two and a half months. Very persistent high pressure has led to very little rain. Here's the rainfall since July 22nd, two and a half months or 78 days worth Victoria 4 millimeters, Kelowna 6, Nanaimo 7, Vancouver 8, and Seashelt on the Sunshine Coast, all of 10 millimeters of rain. Now, all of that is about to change on Friday. Here's again that upper air forecast for Friday. And you can see the storm track has shifted around to come in from the west, heralding a huge change in the weather pattern that's going to mean very wet conditions, as we'll see in just a moment. But in the short term, it looks like that cold air associated with the change is going to produce some snow up in the Peace Country and up towards Fort Nelson tonight. Here's the 24-hour snowfall forecast. The darker shades of green up in the Peace Country suggesting up to about 5 centimeters of snow as the rain changes over to snow with a transition to cold air behind the cold front tonight. So look for that. It should uh, taper off overnight or early tomorrow morning. Now, on the coast and through the rest of the province, here's a look at the five-day or 120-hour precipitation forecast through Sunday morning, October the 14th. You can see these pink shades all along the coast suggest about 50 millimeters of rain from Friday through Sunday as the storms start to move through. And up on the central coast, the darker purple indicating 100 millimeters of rain potentially in that five-day period. Now, if we step it out another five days and look at the five to ten day total rainfall forecast, this taking us through October the 18th, you can see that it's going to be a very wet transition and it's going to persist for some time and we're talking about 75 millimeters uh, across the south coast in areas and the gray shade stretching from well the south part of the central coast right up towards Prince Rupert and beyond to the Panhandle we're talking about 150 millimeters over that five day period from uh, the October the 14th through October the 18th. So, big change coming Friday on the coast, marking the end of summer. Uh, that's it for this update. Hope you've enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the next YouTube Heads Up.